Hi everyone, uh, this is our 2022 Ford Bronco Cape Cod Edition. Uh, this Bronco started life out as a base two-door um, with the Sasquatch package. It's also got a seven-speed manual transmission, which means it also has the 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine. And what we did is we made a um, fair bit of um, upgrades and modifications to make this vehicle what it is right here in front of you on the screen. Um, so I'm gonna walk you through uh, the different uh, mods that we made to this vehicle to make it what it is. So we did a, another Bronco before this. It was a red two-door also with the Sasquatch package. So if you've seen that video, um, we did uh, a lot of the things the same, but just a few little things different and everything. So I'll get right into it. So I'll start with what we painted. Um, the fender flares here, these uh, came textured black from the factory and um, we decided to paint those to match the rest of the vehicle. Um, another thing is too, the color on this vehicle is a cyber orange and I think it looks really good. It almost looks a little bit more yellowish gold, not entirely orange and it looks really good. Um, and another thing that we painted too was the grill. This was also textured black. And we also painted that to match the rest of the vehicle. And we think doing those two things just really gives it a nice, a lot more cohesive look. I think it just looks a lot better. Um, we also painted the outer wheel beadlock rings too on this Bronco. So with the Sasquatch Broncos, they all come with these 17 inch um, wheels that got these outer wheel beadlock rings. Most of them come silver. I believe some come black as well. But the ones on these ones came silver and we uh, decided to paint color match those as well and it really just helps to tie in the wheels and tires with the rest of the vehicle just further adds to that whole cohesive look um i just kind of think it's probably something that we'll be doing on a lot of our bronco builds now, another thing that we added is this um, aftermarket hood from advanced fiberglass concepts it's our heat extractor hood and so we painted the base here, the cyber orange to match the rest of the vehicle. Then the vent area up here, we painted that a nice flat black. Um, then some other small details that we painted. So you see here on these uh, DV8 bumpers, we got these little grates right here as well on the skid plate. And these originally came silver and you can put them on just like that, but we thought it would look nice if we painted those um, cyber orange again just to further tie in everything that we add to this vehicle just give it that nice full complete look and everything like that uh, the rear bumper too also has some greats as well that we painted so i think it's just a nice little touch and everything just a nice little accent so we thought that looked good and that pretty much rounds out everything that we painted on this vehicle um, then like I said, we added this DV8 bumper right here and it also houses a winch. This is the DV8 winch right up here. Keeps it nice and hidden and compact in there. And then these, these uh, bumpers also have spaces for um, some light pods. So you can either get the DV8 light pods, but we only decided to go with the rigid ones. Um, what's nice about these is the rigid radiant series, so they have the backlight feature. Um, and we opted for the amber backlight on this and because it's most close to the cyber orange color on this vehicle everything just a nice little accent detail looks good at night when you can actually see them and everything so when we got those on the back as well um with lights continue on that subject we also had in these um, illuminated grill letters from oracle lighting right here you can't wouldn't be able to see them right now just because it's bright out but i'll put a picture up of what they look like at night um just a nice added feature kind of gives it that nice custom look and what's cool about like these headlights on the broncos is they got these obviously the circle right here but then they got this little line on either side and then when you have the grill letters in there illuminated it kind of creates this nice solid line across the front of the grill looks really good so it's a nice little touch there. Other lights that we got are these Baja design lights. We got the ditch mount lights right here attached to the mirrors, as well as their full light bar up here above the windshield. And at night, when you got the combination of these Baja design lights 
and the rigid lights up front. It really, really provides an ample amount of light. So if you ever find yourself out off road or on the beach or something at night, you'll definitely have no problem seeing where you're going. Um, let's see. Other things too, we got these rock slide engineering retractable power steps. Now these serve two great functions. One is they make it a lot easier getting in. Being that this is the Sasquatch package Bronco, it's a bit, it's lifted about like an inch and a quarter from the factory. It's got like almost 35 inch tires. So before there was nothing on here, no steps, I don't even rock slides or anything. So it took a quite a big step getting in. Um, so these help make getting in a lot easier so they just retract down when you open the door like that right there again makes it super easy getting in especially in the back seat too being it's a two door um and then they close the retract back up when you close the door super simple um and what the other function too with these um rock slide steps is they act as rock sliders so they'll protect um they can take abuse and everything like that when you're going over rocks and other obstacles off-road so they provide two functions help you get in and protect your vehicle as well uh, move to the back here we got that deviate bumper i was talking about with the painted grates and also the rigid um, light this one's a flush mount light so it, it's got a nice little cover case right here that is mounts flush to the bumper it's a nice clean look and that's also got the um amber backlight um, then also below that we got the AWE dual catback exhaust system uh, the exhaust system on the stock Bronco is quite quiet everything like that it's kind of lame so we decided to put on an aftermarket one and this AWE one's great they do a great job with their exhaust adds a nice sound it's not obnoxious or droning or anything like that and they do a really good job with making what this four-cylinder 2.3 liter sound really good and everything like that so i would recommend adding a um, aftermarket exhaust really on any of the broncos just to give it that nice extra sound and everything like that um, on the exterior too we uh, took off the sasquatch badge and replaced it with this bronco badge and then center right below that is this cape cod edition badge it's snugly right in there and then you'll see further Cape Cod Edition um, branding on the inside. We got these custom leather seats made up. Um, I got the gray base right here, and then with the black on the outside, and then with the yellowish orange stitching. And then last but not least, the Cape Cod logo on the back as well. Just a nice little touch. The seats on here before were pretty plain and everything, so this helps to freshen up the interior and again helps to tie in the interior and the exterior of the vehicle another thing we added to is these auxiliary switches um, this is an option on the Broncos that you can't get this one didn't come with it but we decided that we were going to need it since we have a whole host of different um, off-road accessory lights and we'll also do a little startup and walk around here so you can hear this vehicle start up here with the exhaust take a look at the gauges see speedo here you can see 230.2 miles. Got a screen right here. These seats as well. Can't really see what's in the sun, but you got the seats also on the back here. And then here's another good look at them. Let's do a quick rock arounds. Yep. So this build is all complete and is ready to go. Um, this Bronco is for sale. Everything's for whoever wants to buy it. Um, you can t if you want to see more pictures, more detailed write-up and everything, um, you can go on our website. It's uh, hindsideaccessories.com and you can also give us a call too. Phone number is 508-775-3276. Um, and we're located here on Cape Cod, right in Hyannis, Massachusetts, and everything. You can also come by and take a look. We always have them out front here with all of our other vehicles. So, yeah, overall, pretty happy with how this one came out. I think it looks way better than how it did before. Um, but I'll put up a before and after shot as well just to show you what it looked like. But overall, really happy with how it came out and everything like that. 
and uh, looks like we're going to be doing a bunch of different ones. Uh, we got another silver Bronco build that doing pretty big. We're doing a four inch Fabtech lift, 37 inch tires, um, advanced fiberglass concepts, uh, flared fenders and stuff. That was going to be a really cool build. Hopefully we'll have that done in a few weeks and everything. And then hopefully a video of it up not too long after that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.